everybody, it's Linnea. And Maddie, and welcome back to episode three of What the Youth. So because it is summer and we're still technically in quarantine, um, we've come up with a few ideas of what you guys can be doing during the summer. Swimming, um, not public pools. I wouldn't recommend that, but it doesn't necessarily matter because Medfield doesn't even have any public pools. Mm -hmm. But um, if you have your own pool, that's great. Um, trying to think. And the nearby rain. ponds. Nearby ponds, going mm -hmm. to the ocean, but remember to socially distance because social distancing should be practiced throughout the summer. Also, don't go in the ocean with a mask or a lake or a pond or a pool with a mask because then it can get soggy. And make sure to also be staying healthy during these unsettling times. So drink your water, eat those healthy foods, exercise daily, which is very important, even though because the weather has been extremely nice out, so that's always good. Go outside, take your dog out for a hike, a run, even just like a bike ride. Yeah. Just something. I like biking. Me too. Um, the next activity, um, climbing trees. If you've always wanted to be <laughs> like a monkey, this is your time to shine. Yeah, there's tons of trees yes. that are great options. Um, looking over at that one over there. Oh, that's a beautiful tree. That always an option. Maybe not the yes. first one, but it could be like plan B. Another activity that you can do is um, gardening. Um, yes. Grow your own vegetables. It's a little late in the season, but I think you could probably harvest yes. some good, I don't know, uh, lettuce. Peas. Peas. Carrots, maybe? Kale, anything really. Yes, um, probably, oh, potatoes. Oh, wow, I, I'm a good potato fan. Um, highly recommend any of those things on the list. So as of right now, we are in phase two of reopening, which means that right now all of the, op all of the local businesses are open in Medfield. Um, and you can actually dine in for some of them. Um, but it's always good to support the local businesses such as Nosh and Grog, Avenue, Casabella. So there is a new American flag that is being proposed. Um, there's a petition online to get it changed. There is a new um, anthem already made, so we don't have to worry about that. So we have moved down to the ground because we will be taking a few BuzzFeed quizzes. So recently I was browsing the internet and I came across some really fun quizzes that I thought we should take. So the first quiz is what kind of soup you are um, based on what winter items you pick. So, so this is the quiz. Um, we're, I'm very excited. It's on BuzzFeed if you want to check it out. Oh, so the first one is gloves or mittens. Personally, I do prefer gloves. I do as well. Um, okay. Do you like your hot chocolate with whipped cream or marshmallows? Both. Um, I prefer marshmallows. Actually, I already picked that. I don't really, I already picked both too. I don't really, I actually don't put um, whipped cream on my, my hot chocolate, but it sounds delicious, so I'm just gonna That's go for true. that. Is November considered a winter month? Yes. If it snowed tomorrow, would you go outside and play in it? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, maybe. I wouldn't. Okay. Which holiday Starbucks drink sounds the best? Peppermint mocha for me. Same. Um, what are you looking forward to most for winter break? Um, spending time with family. That's what I'm going to go with. Ooh, what kind of soup did you get? I got tomato soup. I got chicken noodle. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like tomato soup, but... <laughs> you don't? I actually really like tomato soup. You do? We can swap. So the next one is what kind of cheese you are. So the first question is, pick a vacation destination. The options are New York, Austin, Portland, and New Orleans. I'm going for New York. Same here. Pick some food. And we've got pizza, it looks like. It looks like we've got a sandwich, spaghetti. These are all in like a different language, so. And then there's a hamburger. Going for the burger. See, this is really hard because I it like hard. three of the options, not the sandwich. The sandwich looks pretty good though. Um, at, the, it, at the moment, that spaghetti looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. Okay, pick a home. It looks like we have 
one in this, it looks we like have, we have we two have apartments. apartments. Part apartments, house, or some mountains. I'm going for the red one, because I feel like the top left one, because I feel like that's what they have in like big cities, and I love cities, so. Yeah, but you don't really get a porch. No, you don't. Um, I'm gonna go with a house. I don't want a house. Nice. Pick a car. So we've got a Chevy. Um, looks like we got an old fashioned one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, a sport car. Oh, I think these are like different types. Well, we have a red one, a blue one, an orange one, and a gray one. Boy. I'm going for the red one in the top left. Same. Okay, pick a drink. We have Coca Cola, wine, water, or, or beer. Beer. Going, with, uh, I think going I like for water. I'll go with Coke. Ooh, I, Ooh, I got Swiss cheese. <laughs> Wait, say. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> um, I got Swiss cheese. We both got Swiss cheese. Yes. Even though we picked completely different answers for some of them, we did get the same cheese. So. We did. Should we do another quiz? Yeah. I have quite a few. These are fun. The next one that we're going to be doing is what type of bread you are. Yes. I hope I get sourdough. I love sourdough. I hope I get some, like, actually, I don't know. OK. OK. First question, which 90s sitcom are you? Which 90s sitcom duo are you and your best friend most similar to? Okay, um, so considering that I have not seen ABC, NBC, CBS, NBC, CBS, NBC. Oh, wait, these are different shows. I can't tell you what one of these are. Um, well, you know, I, I would like, say. I like Disney, so we're going for top left. I don't know what show that is, though, but. I'm going to go with the middle top. What type of flour do you use most often? The options are all-purpose flour, whole wheat flour, bread flour, coconut flour, corn flour, cake flour, self-rising flour. I regularly use multiple flours. Or there are different types of flours. All-purpose flour. Oat flour is good though too. I that's would do all option. as well. Okay, when you're thirsty, how do you quench your thirst? Options are with water, with coffee, with milk, with tea, with juice, with wine, with beer, with a milkshake, with my own saliva, with water. Definitely not that one. Um, I would also go with water. Pick a pizza. We've got some cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza. It looks like a margarita. Mm -hmm. Some other pizza. I think that's like, looks like sausage. I gotta go with classic cheese. Um, margarita. I love that mozzarella chunkiness. Okay, <laughs> which, hand emoji, which hand emoji best describes your abilities in the kitchen? In the kitchen? Uh, the thumbs up. I'm gonna do the this. praying one. You do. I can't go. <laughs> um, what type of oil do you prefer? Olive oil, butter. Butter is not. Is butter oil? No, but butter, if you melt it, I guess it's kind of like the same consistency. Canola oil, ghee, shortening, margarine, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, something else. I'm gonna go with olive, olive oil. Yeah. Actually, I use butter. Um, who's your favorite cooking show host? It was Gordon Ramsay on here. Nope. I can't tell you who the any of these people are. I know the guy with the white hair. That's like the only person I recognize. You know, I'm gonna go for middle row middle, because he seems like a fun guy. I'm going middle top. Okay, pick an herb. <laughs> basil, cilantro, mint, chives, dill, sage, oregano. Um, either basil or mint. Same, same. Actually, I like chives. Probably. Yeah, chives. Mint. Um, which baking term best describes your personality? Absorbic, preheated, nonstick, creamed, degerminated, cut in, unleavened, punch down, or egg wash? Um, um, describes my personality. For you, I would go with. degerminated. I think I'm nonstick because I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. What should I do? Um, you're not, no offense, you're not really a kitchen type of gal. I know, exactly. <laughs> so I'm gonna say egg wash. I don't know what okay. that means, but. That. Pick a city in the US to visit. Looks like we have. A bunch of cities. Uh, New York City. I don't, don't know any of these. I don't know all those. I all see them. Florida stock. I'm gonna go for New York City. Okay. This bottom one looks kind of cool. Oh, never heard of this type of bread. I'm. I am. Chowla. 
Chala. I am, oh, I got banana bread. I love banana bread. Ooh, you are a little sweet and eggy and work like a braid, like it's no one's business. Chala bread you French be, toast is really good. Oh, uh, You can be a bit seedy, <laughs> but that just gives you more flavor. How about you? Talk about identity crisis. You're called a bread, but tastes more like a cake. But hey, regardless of the confusion, people totally love you. The next quiz that we'll be taking is what kind of milk are you? So this is very interesting to me as someone who does not typically drink milk, but I am excited to- I like almond milk though, yeah, so I same. hope I get that. Um, okay, what's your favorite use for milk? Cereal, coffee, feeding babies, just drinking, having, having with cookies, squirting it out of a milk gun in a milk fight. So I've never done the last one, but that seems really interesting. Nor the third one. So I'm gonna go for the first one. <laughs> Um, yeah, same. Pick a drink. Um, looks like hot chocolate, eggnog, coffee, um, something, tea, or something else. I'm gonna go with tea out of all of these. I am good. Do you like to party with milk? What does that even mean? What does that mean? Um, Why? question mark. Next. <laughs> um, yes. Have you ever been yeah. to a milk party? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> My life is a milk party. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, <laughs> Is that actually what you did? Yeah. Oh, so I want to throw a milk party, I guess, but I'm going to go with milk. Estimate how much milk you could chug in a milk chugging contest. Oh, um, I hate milk. No, nah, no. I don't like milk. I got skim milk. I'm not I, a big I fan of milk. Not, I'll do not very much. I also got skim milk. The next one that we'll be taking is what type of yogurt are you? So I'm really hoping to get, what are you hoping to get? I'm hoping to get vanilla or Same. I like strawberry. Like a Greek yogurt. Or peach is good. Yes. Um, Actually, I don't, I'm not a fan of peach yogurt. I don't yeah. think I've ever had it though. It's good. Okay, pick a flavor. We have vanilla, strawberry, peach, mango, blueberry, and cherry. I'm flavor gonna go of for- Flavor yogurt or flavor in general? I think in general. So I'd go with cherry for that one. I'm gonna go for mango. Pick a dairy product that's not yogurt. Butter, milk, cheese, sour cream, condensed milk, and whipped cream. I'm gonna go for cheese. Pick a topping, honey, granola, banana, toasted coconut, chia seed, maple syrup. Bananas. Definitely I love granola. bananas. Love granola. What food would be the grossest yogurt flavor? We have olive, cilantro, black licorice, mushrooms, candy corn, or oysters. Either oysters or oysters. Black <laughs> oysters. Pick I had a side oysters salad. For, I had oysters for the first time last week. Were they good? No. <laughs> Pick a side salad to have with your yogurt. I didn't know salad went with yogurt, personally. I didn't know either. We have Cobb salad, yeah. caprese salad, Caesar salad, Greek salad, Waldorf salad, I've never heard of that, and panzanella salad. Either you know, Greek or caprese. I'm gonna Greek, go for... Caprese. Oh, that Caesar looks like it has chicken in it, so I'm gonna go with that one. I'm gonna go for Greek. I did get Greek yogurt. I got Greek yogurt as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, I'm Linnea. I'm Maddie, and thank you for watching today's episode of What the Youth.